We still had to ask our boss if we could go and play for Australia in the World Cup, use our rec leave to go and play for our country and pay for our own flights and, and stuff like that. It was difficult. We just, we did it with, for the love of it. I started in 79. My sister actually invited me to play in her team. It was an open team. I went along and just started to play and found it crazy easy to play and you know, I think I scored 56 goals out of 72 or something like that so found it easy and just loved it. In I think it was 1990 we played in Adelaide and it was the national titles that we had once a year. They would select back in the day an all-stars team because there was really nowhere to go. Um, to play overseas or anything like that. So yeah, I got selected in the national team, which was basically the female Socceroos, as we were known back then. And it was very overwhelming, actually. <laughs> it was probably one of the best uh, nights of my life. We were always in the shadow of Socceroos. We went to Japan in 94, and it was the first time we'd been paid. It was a $300 a game fee for us and that was big for us because that was the first time I'd ever been paid for a game. To go to Sweden as the first female players to represent Australia in a World Cup was magical. Like I said we put our heart and soul into it and that's all we wanted to do is go to the World Cup and win. We just didn't have the recognition, we just, we you know, we did so many things to try and get the recognition out there, but, but there was nothing. <laughs> there was no media coverage <laughs> for us. I mean, the girls did a nude photo shoot to try and raise money to, you know, to go away and get recognition. So it was just really hard back in the day because there was no support. The Matildas are front runners when it comes to Indigenous culture. Uh, flags in the dressing room, on the field. We need to celebrate our heritage and our culture and the oldest living culture in the world. It's something we should all, as Australians, be proud of. I didn't have any Indigenous role models growing up, but, you know, looking back on my young self when I was growing up, I think you'd have to look at Kathy Freeman, um, Ash Barty as well, or inspiring everything that she's done, where she holds herself and is just so humble how can you not look up to her? And as a young Indigenous person, she would have been my idol, for sure. Seeing Kaya and Lydia walk out with the Aboriginal flag is inspiring. It gives, you know, young Indigenous girls and boys hope that put your mind to anything and you can become anyone or anything that you want to be. People say to me, oh my God, you're, you're an ex-Matilda. You know, you should be so proud of yourself. And um, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed to be a part of that family. And now watching the girls going to play in the World Cup, it's like they're our little baby sisters. <laughs> Proudest punch we are. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.